today we are going to discuss about the average value rms value form factor peak factor for the sinusoidal waveform and full wave rectifier output and half wave rectifier output okay now first see the for the sinusoidal waveform now here this is a sine wave first past half cycle up to pi next half cycle up to 2 pi and i am assuming this is the maximum value of this waveform im and negative maximum value is minus i m. Okay, now see here. General equation for sine wave is given by i is equal to i m sine omega t. Okay, now see here. What is the average value? Average value is defined as it is the ratio of area covered by the wave. Now see here. Now this is totally area covered by this total waveform. This is called as the area covered by this waveform. Okay. Now, R is defined as it is ratio of area covered by the waveform to the curve traveled or time period. Now, what is by the time period? Time taken to complete one full cycle. Now, here, here this is first half cycle. This is ne next half cycle. That means this is total one full cycle. When the total full cycle is completed, at 2 pi. Okay. Now, it is given by area covered by this waveform to the time period is 2 pi. Okay. Now, but for the sine waves, Average value is always zero. Why? Because for past two half cycle, negative half cycle, you will get if it is one, this will become minus one. If it is some two, it will become minus two. Why? Because it is past two half cycle, negative half cycle. Then both are going to cancel. That means this type of waveforms are called the symmetrical waveforms. Okay, for symmetrical waveforms, the average value is always zero. So that is the reason why we need to consider for only half cycle, first to half cycle. Now, that is the reason I, here I got divided by pi. It is not 2 pi. Okay. Now, we need to take only up to pi. Half cycle we need to take. Okay. Now, see here. Now, I average is equal to 1 by pi. Integration of 0 to pi. Here, general equation is given by I m sin omega t. Substitute here. I m sin omega t. Okay. Now, see here. I m is constant. So, I m by pi. Integration of sin is cos. Okay. Sorry. Minus cos. So, here, minus cos omega t. Integrals are 0 to pi. If you solve that part, you will get 2 im by pi. Now, this value is 0 0.67 im. Okay. Similarly, RMS value is given by IRMS is equal to under root of 1 by 2 pi. For RMS value, we will take total full cycle. Okay. For average value, only half cycle. For sinusoidal waveform, we need to, for uh, RMS value, we need to take total full cycle. So, that is the reason I taken 1 by 2 pi integration of 0 to 2 pi into i square. D omega t. Here, substitute I value as I m sin omega t. Now, you will get I square sin square omega t into D omega t. Okay. But here, we can't do the integration of this I square sin square omega t. We need to write in terms of cos. That is 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2 into D omega t. Okay. Again, integration of constant. It is omega t. 1 by 2 into D omega t. It is omega t. Thereafter, integration of cos is sin. So, it is sin 2 omega t by here we got 2 omega t together, so it is sin 2 omega t by 2. Thereafter, substitute this upper limit pi as well as lower limit 0. If you solve this part, you will get IRMS is equal to IM by root 2. That value is given by 0 0.707 IM. Okay, now this is for sinusoidal wave from average value and RMS value. Similarly, we can solve for full wave rectifier also. Now, so this is the full wave rectifier out. Okay, now in this case, the area covered is up to pi only. That means after pi, the same cycle is repeating. Now, the time period is only pi. Okay. Now, so I average is equal to 1 by pi, integration of 0 to pi, i d omega t. Now, these both, you are going to get the same result. Why? Because here, I average, I average. 1 by pi is 1 by pi, 0 to pi, i d omega t. For these two, you will get same average values. Okay. But RMS value is different. Why? Because previously, it is up to 2 pi. But here, it is only up to pi. Why? Because time period for this waveform is only pi. Now, it's here, 1 by pi integration of 0 to pi i squared d omega t. Again, substitute i e is equal to i m sin omega t. Then you will get this equation. Now, write this equation in terms of cos. That is 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2 into d omega t. Okay. Again, if you solve this part, you will get i m by root 2. That is 0 0.707. Now, this is for a half a rectifier output waveform. Okay. Just solve this part, you will get the equation. Thereafter, for half a rectifier. For half wave rectifier, if you observe here, up to 2 pi is curve travel. That means time period is up to 2 pi. First to half cycle, pass to. Next to half cycle, it is 0. Thereafter, pass to half cycle, 0. Pass to half cycle, 0. Like that, we are going to get the average 
half a rate fare output waveform. Okay. Now for this waveform, the curve will travel. That means time period is up to 2 pi. So that is the reason why 1 by 2 pi in duration of 0 to 2 pi i square into 2 omega t. Okay. Uh, this is RMS value. Now substitute again sin square omega t is equal to 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2. Thereafter, derive this part by doing the integration. Then you will get im by 2 as RMS value. Similarly, the average value also same procedure 1 by 2 pi integration of 0 to 2 pi i d omega t. Substitute i is equal to im sin omega t. If you do the integration part, then you will get im by pi. 2 to cancel, you will get im by pi. Okay, this is about the average value RMS value for the sine wave form full weighted for output and half weighted for output. Thereafter, form factor peak factor. Now, form factor is defined as it is ratio of RMS value to the average value. Now, already we know the RMS value here. See here. Uh, this is the RMS value. This is the average value. Now, do this 0 0.707 by 0 0.637. You will get the form factor for this full weighted factor. Similarly, 0 0.318 by 0 0.61. Okay, you will get the half weighted factor form factor. Similarly, 0 0.707 by 0 0.637. Then you will get the form factor for this sinusoidal wave form. Thereafter, peak factor. It is defined as maximum value to the RMS value. Now, for all these waveforms, maximum value is IM. Here also maximum value is IM. Here also maximum value is IM. So, the value. So, it is IM by RMS value. So, IM by 0 0.707. That means 1 by 0 0.707. Thereafter, 1 by 0 0.707. Again, thereafter, 1 by 0 0.318. Okay, for the sine wave, for full wave, for half way, we can determine the form factor as well as peak factor by substitute all these values. That's it. Okay. Now, this is about your average value, RMS value, form factor, peak factor for this sinusoidal waveform, full way rate fat, and half way rate fat outputs. Okay. Thank you.